DIA is always one of the busiest airports in our country. The airport stepped up security, adding more police. And of course, they're reminding you to say something if you think you see something suspicious. Denver 7 reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is at DIA right now. And Jen, there is an app to help people make those reports. And the app is free and easy to use. It works on both iPhones and Androids. It's called See Something, Send Something. In a matter of seconds, you can send a photo or a note, and it goes directly to law enforcement, with the U.S. issuing a global travel alert. This tool is critical for police. Thanksgiving, right? We gotta be ready for some delays. It's Thanksgiving holiday travel, and DIA is full of people. When you look at the line, what do you think? I'm like, we got to hurry up. <laughs> With the State Department issuing a global travel alert due to increased terrorist threats, security is top of mind. And this new cell phone app is making it easier for you to report anything suspicious. Uh, certainly the attacks in Paris have highlighted the need for the public to be very aware and vigilant and to report anything they see that's out of the ordinary. Captain J.P. Burt runs Colorado's Homeland Security Division, where information from the app is sent. What we do want the public to realize is they are the best eyes and ears where they live and where they work. With the touch of a button, you can send a note or snap a photo to report anything out of the ordinary. The tip is then instantly sent to police. Determine if it's a piece of information that we should keep, uh, that we should pass along to another law enforcement agency so they can act upon it. Colorado is now one of seven states using the If You See Something, Send Something app. Captain Burt says they get about 100 tips a week, and a lot of times it's the smallest piece of information that makes the biggest difference. If you see something, say something, because you just never know. Now, in just the last 24 hours, Captain Burt tells me that they've received more than 125 tips from this app alone. It's also important to note that you should never use the app in an emergency or if there's an imminent threat, that's when you should call 911. The app is mainly for reporting things like a suspicious bag or a car in your neighborhood. Reporting live at DIA tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Yeah, great idea for an app. Thanks, Jen. And with more snow coming, you know conditions are constantly changing out there. You can always check out the road conditions before you and your family hit the road by going to the DenverChannel.com.